Right, we've got the uh, PhotoSmart C5180. See if I can catch it there. There it is. There it is there. C5180, Texas 363s. If you've already used these, you know how to take your cartridges out. You just take them out of these little um, uh, clips here and pull them out. And the CIS is very easy to put onto these. Um, you just put them back in again. I'll just let you know during the video, though, that the ink on my hands is not from the CIS. It's from remanufacturing cartridges. I've always got ink on my hands. You will not get ink on your hands using this CIS. First of all, though, I want to show you the CIS itself. Ignore everything around, because I'm busy today doing many printers. There is the CIS. I remember to keep one of these. This is the air bunk. What you do is remove the small bunk here, and you place in the air bunk, and leave it like that. I'm going to get closer to that so you can see it. You remove that rubber bit there, and you put that bung in there. You must do this. If you leave those small rubber bungs in there, no air can get in, so no ink can travel. What these do, they stop the ink flying everywhere if you accidentally knock it, but they do let the air in. And when you're filling up, you just remove this big one, fill up your ink, put it back in. So that's how it looks, and it always must be on the same level as the printer. Like that is on the table. No matter what you do, no matter what you see, you must not be tempted to lift it because it will flood your printer. Now, we've got the, uh, by the way, they go in all the way up there. There's six of them, so you put six of those bungs in. You don't just put one in. You put one in every one, but uh, I've only got one handy. So uh, we've got the CIS show, showing you what it is. Let's put it in. And it is quite straightforward, really, because all you do is with your cartridges, you've got your chip there, and you put them in. Close your thing down, and you just make sure that you don't squash the pipe down here. There's a pipe leading to each one. Just don't squash it. As long as you don't squash it, you won't get a problem. Just put your cartridges in. Make sure you don't catch the pipe. It is a little harder for me, actually, because... I'm having to do it behind the camera. But there you go, that was not caught the pipe. That's not caught the pipe. And you do that all the way along the sink. Right, I stopped the video there pretty quickly because somebody came to the door. Uh, background noise doesn't matter, but it does when somebody's talking. So I'd put the three in. I've now put the other three in, and you'll see the air in this piping. Lots of air and a little tiny bit of ink, but don't be concerned about that. You'll see that shortly when it starts printing. Whatever you do, don't be bothered about this air, because people will see that, start panicking, and thinking that it's not working properly where it is. So we've got the CIS in. All we've got to do is get it printing. So what we're going to do with this piping here, it'll be different, slightly different on different models, but what you do is do it so the lid comes down, and you'll be able to see that on this screen, and the ink can still travel up and down there. And as I say, it's full of air at the minute, but you will see shortly that it's not like that. Let's see if it prints. We're going to go to the computer and um, set up a, a print test. That's, print, that's printing on the computer now, so it should only take a few seconds for that to come through. And if you hear, it's already got printing up on the screen here, and it's making a noise now. We will get um, perfect... Uh, print quality on this, absolutely amazing print quality. You can hear the printer printing now. I've bashed this, this is a second hand uh, printer and it's bashed there so yours won't look like that, don't worry about that bit there. It's where it's second hand, I've just bought a second hand one to do the video with. You can see the print coming out there. Look at those four colours there. Absolutely perfect. What I'm going to do now is stop the video. I'm going to mess around with it until it starts doing this here. We don't want it on the film because it might be five to ten minutes longer. So I'm going to mess around with it. As soon as this starts going up and down, I will change... I will start the video again, sorry. Once that starts going up and down. So you can see what is happening. 
right, the printer is going through a head sealing process actually, and you'll see that the ink there is moving back towards the bottles. The printer's still making its noises, and now you can see it going back towards the cartridges. And that puts it to the perfect level. It'll still go back again because it'll get it to the perfect level of printing. So don't be concerned when you see air in these piping. You just carry on printing the way that you would and that will look after itself. Don't be alarmed. Now when you've, when you've been printed for some time, your printer will obviously say that one of them, or maybe more than one of them, is empty, one of the cartridges. You put a CIS on, but the printer doesn't know that, so it will monitor the cartridges as it normally would. What you have to do, well there's a couple of ways of doing it, but this is the easy way. Just take the cartridge out, like this, put it back in again, put the lid down, and it will be full again. I haven't got the lid quite down there. That will be full again, and it will print again. Do as much printing as you want at a low cost. Well, any, any problems, just give us a call. The number's at the end of the video.